Today I'm going to replace the LEDs for uh, Samsung UN F8000. As you can see, there is a spot on a corner which is burn LEDs. Uh, it's a very nice TV, uh, smart 3D, but um, apparently when I bought the TV, it was not even working, but somebody has screwed the stand right into the LEDs, which has caused a failure. Because you could see a dark spot on a corner, which LEDs uh, showing failure. This is the model, and it's a Samsung UN F8000. Hopefully I can make it work and show you step by step how to replace it. All right, step one on uh, opening the Samsung, uh, remove all the screws around it, uh, including the screws for the um, stand. So that the um, cover comes out. Once the cover is out, you need to flip the TV over and uh, open uh, open the sides. This is the TV with uh, without the cover. That's the main board, Keycon board, and the power supply. The burn LED side is in here because uh, apparently whoever had the TV first, their screw through, which actually uh, affected the LEDs and burned the, the on one side of the LEDs. Most likely the cable that connects to the LED is shortened. That's why most of the LEDs are not going to work on this side. I'm going to remove all the uh, components, speakers, power supply, T-con board. Actually, no, I'm, I'm just going to disconnect them because uh, once I take the screen out, it's not gonna affect if they are onto the frame. We'll see after I take this off. Okay, so I took all the components out um, just because I'm going to flip the TV on the other side to remove the, um, the cover that comes uh, around it for um, taking the LCD out and also for avoiding any damage to the main board and the power supply. It's slick uh, unit as you can see, it's not many components, but um, it's kind of a heavy. So far, um, I'm at this point, and then uh, we'll see when I take off the LCD and test the LEDs. I just removed the black frame that comes around the LCD. It has uh, probably like 15 screws, they're very tiny. Uh, this operation needs to be done very uh, carefully because um, it's very delicate. I've changed LEDs before and you could damage uh, in the opening. So it has to be very carefully with the screws and the frame to come out. So in a minute I'm going to remove the LCD, unfortunately I don't have an option to show how to remove the LCD because I'm 
filming this uh, by myself so I don't have an option to put um, anything on the stand as far as like recording but I'll show you with the screen out here is finally the LCD is out it's actually right there on the floor normally I should have like a flat area where I can put it in but um, if I just leave it on the floor untouching and no banging uh, this would be fine on a replacement obvious to replace the LEDs you really need to have a area to do this um, it has to be dedicated especially for the panel because if you bend the panel it won't work I mean it would work but it would be cracked basically and you need full new TV well we'll see how it goes after I take everything out and getting ready to test the LEDs finally after taking everything out there is the LEDs and I think uh, not I think but here is actually that's the problem it's the cable right there has a hole I'll show you in a minute right there It's actually hard to see it, but there's the hole right in this area. So apparently they're screwed through and damaged the main cable that connects the LEDs. And uh, I'm going to attempt to put it together by just uh, uh, redoing this and making sure like the whole cables are connecting to the main LEDs because the LEDs are fine but it looks like um, TV was open previously and maybe someone that did the job they didn't do it right so that affected the actual um, the bed putting together the TV which affected the actual cable but we'll see I was uh, I was kind of a certain that that was the problem and I'm glad that actually it is the problem because an LED like that the strip it would cost around 125 to 150 they're not cheap it's kind of hard to find them too these are the layers that they were onto the TV. This is to reduce the LED uh, light. Also, I do have another LG that I'm actually putting together. Same thing, LEDs burned. So, they're marked. Once I get them, because I ordered, once I get them, I'll show you that. That's the screen for the LG. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to fix the cables and see how it goes. After pulling the cables out, uh, I found out that one of the cables right here, that it's actually connecting the circuit. Um, it's actually broke right in the middle. And you can see they're just hanging. Um, this is like typical of a cheap job done wrong. And uh, maybe they did it right, but uh, right after they're finished, they did the slappy job on uh, putting the TV together. So I'll see if uh, the cable after fixing the cable uh, it's gonna work otherwise I'm gonna have to get a new cable to use 
to avoid to uh, have the same problem that they had before. We'll see. So I welded all the cables, the ones that they were uh, broken and disconnected, and I uh, taped them uh, nice and neat to make sure they're fully operative. What I'm gonna what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to put the power supply into the TV with uh, possibly with the main board. We'll see if the power supply alone is going to pull the power so I can test it before I decide that that's the only trouble. Well, uh, let's see. Here's the Okay, so I have the power supply on. I'm going to see if uh, the power supply alone is going to turn just LEDs so I can actually test them. If, um, if they're all light up, it means we're in a good shape and ready to set up and to complete the, the whole process. And if they work, I'm going to basically just put everything back together and um, make this uh, beautiful TV still working like it was before alright let's uh, see plug in the power right now and voila just like I was hoping the whole thing was on this cable and the whole LEDs are on super bright that's why the reducers are there to uh, reduce the the screen um, the LEDs and balance them happy right now that uh, I actually didn't uh, waste too much money to fix it is just the, the cable disconnected I'm going to put it together and um, take a short video right after it with a complete TV finished the product after um, fixing the light it's working like it it's supposed to thank you for watching the video and visit the uh, freedom tech on YouTube um, for further videos. Thank you.